there are thousands of sheets and this and that see those sheets are having all the topics okay don't get overwhelmed by seeing 400 450 questions hi you all i am priyanka jain and in this particular video i am going to tell you how can you use lead code effectively in order to crack your dream placement so why am i telling you this i am telling you this from my experience because i have been using lead code for quite a few years now and it actually helped me a lot in cracking the placements of many companies so who is this video for this video is for you if you are a beginner and you don't know where to start from this video is for you if you are an intermediate problem solver and you are able to solve easy but get stuck in the medium ones and even if you know all the topics and you are good to go but still uh, it will help you in getting a confidence in tracking your next interview so this is what lead code page looks like now what do you need to do where should you start from so if you are a beginner i am expecting here that you know a programming language be it c++ java or any programming language of your choice now how can you start like how will you know which topic you should pick up whether it should be arrays or linked list or any other thing okay and how should you just begin with it which question should you pick so you have to go to this explore section of lead code okay in explore sections there is this thing which is very underrated which are these lead code cards okay the under this under this learn section you will find many cards like these okay some of them are extra and you don't even need them but it's there okay so um just begin with any basic card so just start from here it will give you an introduction and everything so let me just open this arrays card you will see they will first give you an introduction okay once you will open it um it will give you all the theory and will tell you you will get to know about it once you are done with the introduction there are these basic operations like inserting items into an array deleting from an array searching in an array and it's not just that it there are questions related to it they will first give you the theory how it's happening and then there are a few questions related to it it will give you an idea about how things are working about basics of a data structure it will not make you an expert but you will just get something to begin with here you will do like 10 questions okay and that will give you a pretty good idea about it now if you are feeling very confident very good otherwise i'll tell you where you can find more problems and be a champ so in this section you have to pick all the cards the free ones and complete them so now you must be uh, thinking with in which order you should start so to tell you where you should start from first start with array section array is the most basic data structure that we have combine it with string and do some questions combined with string okay this card contain array plus string questions then you can do hash table hash table is very interesting very easy topic you will actually understand it enjoy it it is also asked in interviews about then stack and queue again another data structure skip heap and binary search for now okay we'll just start from the basic linked list it is separate okay learn basic what is a node how they are connected to each other the basic operations you will learn then do more practice questions okay once you are done with these data structures then you will get a good hold how things are working then you will start understanding and you will get your own intuition which you, uh, which topic you should begin with now how you should proceed you are feeling confident about the different topic or you want to do more questions so this is the chart according to which you can actually start using these cards okay these cards will give you a pretty good idea now what after these cards now what should you do after that so once you have an idea now you should do more questions about it and from where will you get more questions there are thousands of sheets and this and that see those sheets are having all the topics okay don't get overwhelmed by seeing 400 450 questions 200 questions no you are just starting up so 
just focus on one topic for once have some confidence about it then move on to the next topic now if i pick one topic for example linked list how will i get confident in it i have basic idea how things are working now what so we have this very special section which is discuss section which is also called the gold mine okay there are many experts on lead code and they have given their best possible advice in discuss section you can go to study guide okay in study guide you have to put this filter of most words you will find very great articles for example uh, dp for beginners it is one article you can see it as having 2.9k upwards and he has uh, divided the dp category into these many subcategories like these many patterns and those the questions related to those patterns so it actually doing such stuff such sorted stuff it helps you to analyze things once you pick a question you will be able to think oh this belongs to this category because i have al already solved these many questions five questions of this category five questions of this category so it will automatically click now coming back you have done the um, different cards about the basics now let's pick link list don't do anything just go on google and type do nothing just go on google and type link list study guide lead code okay you will come across 5 10 articles you can find and look for yourself you can sort it on the basis of upwards and the reviews that it must be having the comments so i'm opening the first one this is a very great article because here he has given the introduction about linked list okay afterwards the types of linked list this theory you will already know once you have done the explore card so you can just skip it travers you will be knowing the useful thing here is the problem list these are just 28 problems but these part these problems are of a good category like once you do these you will be able to do the variations and you will understand stuff i'm not saying you need to do all of them you have to open a problem you can see if it's it's clicking and you know how to write its code you can skip right now i just want you to be familiar with all these topics and then we the battle will begin so like this you can master all the topics okay like you will have a very good idea and a whole like you should be able to do easy problems of all the categories so in order to solve problems randomly if you want if you don't want to follow any such thing and sometimes feel like you want to do stuff randomly what you can do is come to this lead code section set difficulty as easy and um, you can pick any topic like uh, tag of link list okay so these many i have solved these questions but like this thing will come then you can sort this on the basis of acceptance easy it's there but still which is the most ex accepted and you can just start solving like that first um when you are comfortable with easy ones and we are just able to click even if you are not able to solve the medium ones it's not important just it should just click okay if you are not able to implement just go to the discuss section see for other solution and mark it somewhere just write it somewhere in a notebook or maintain excel sheet so that you can revisit after a period of time like just after a week just see the solution implement it then revisit after a week and don't see the solution and do it on its own uh, do it on your own now you will have a good hold and now you are an intermediate now you are able to solve problems now what next there is this study plan in which we have top interview 150 questions you know the basic topics you have idea of all the topics now do random questions okay it might you have 
you will just get a question you have to think you have to apply a which data structure in this particular question so use your brain think for yourself which data structure which algorithm should be applied and just start with it so once you complete this list of here it is um, given in a very uh, nice sorted way okay you can just once you complete this list of top 150 questions, these are the questions which are most repeated. This 75 lead code blind 75 is also very good. You can go with uh, top interview questions. Most of the questions will be overlapping here. Once you are done with this, I would suggest you to do the variation of the standard questions because, because by this time you are already done with the main standard questions which are there now it's time to do the variations when you are doing a particular question the lead code itself recommends two questions downwards okay and by the end of any question uh, just like that and start giving contests okay weekly contests are there and even if you're not feeling confident enough to give the contest live there is an option of having virtual contests so it's you it's so it's only for you to be confident about it and there's no pressure on you that what will what is your rank and it will fall or anything like that you can just go start any virtual contest and uh, absolve it later on it will also help to increase your speed because it gives you an environment of an actual OA, OA ride so it actually gives you an uh, so it gives you a real-time environment of a online assessment that we have for different companies so that's why it's very helpful now what else you can do by this time you will feel very confident now let me just combine whatever i have to say and just tell a little more things for experts out there so for beginners the first step is to choose a language be it c plus plus be it java be it python or anything that you want to do okay none of my business so um, you can choose any language and uh, just practice the basic operations do some basic sum of two numbers this that some basic uh, maths questions okay it will give you an idea about it uh, you can use code academy for that i'll provide its link in the description below uh, then do lead code explore cards as i showed you how useful they are they are one of a gem i love them and then uh, lead code discuss section go to read code discuss section find the best articles out there if you are feeling confident about a topic okay next topic if you are still feeling that you need to do more and more about it go to discuss section find the best articles about it do some of the questions you can also take help of uh, any particular sheets out there which is having good questions in that particular topic now once you do this you will always feel like you will feel like you are confident enough now coming to the intermediate level go for top 150 interview questions okay most favorite most liked lead code questions there are many sections like that so it will have jumbled like uh, jumbled uh, questions of all the topics so it will give you a good idea you will see the question you will think yourself which data structure it require which topic you have to um, think upon okay variations of standard questions uh, this you can uh, just go randomly for any questions okay don't apply any tag just pick one try to solve it brainstorm not able to do it go on discuss learn about it how things are working come back again one week later you'll have a lot of knowledge or you can do uh, lead code daily challenges that is also helpful then lead code contests this is for everyone beginner intermediate expert it will always help you in any scenario okay lead code contest you're not feeling confident enough just give virtual contests that's it it will improve your skills to such a damn level i cannot tell you it will help you in oas because you get random question in oas which are variations and uh, you have a time limit so you will have that stress thing and you will become habitual you will develop your speed and everything for experts don't miss out any contest out there be it weekly bi-weekly give it live other platforms go on other platforms uh, there are many platforms like um, uh, 
there are many platforms like hacker earth hacker rank they keep conducting uh, competitions which actually hire from those competitions okay there are many hirings going on for many top uh, top companies like cred and stuff like that. now if you are done with this start reading interview experiences for the companies that you are targeting so you will get to know which topic which particular data structure is most asked in that particular company it will help you and it will give you a confidence solve that interview experience entirely all the questions that are given okay do it from uh, the naive to the expert okay think you are sitting in an interview start with the naive approach make it better make it optimized and then go to the best approach actual interviews start applying these days you have many options you can um, book any uh, interview mock interview online there are many websites like that where people from those product based companies will take your interview and give you that actual feel of an interview but what i would suggest is start applying give actual interviews okay even if you are not looking for a job start giving interviews it will just help you to be prepared for it fine so if i will be missing any points and i might get reminded of it later i will add it in the description and uh, all the best for your journey